result. Even though it might look like everything had gone perfectly, actually when I was testing the panel, every now and again I'd get an output of zero. At the time, I couldn't work out why this was, but I've now realised this because I missed out quite an important part of putting the panel together. I'll now show you what that part is so you don't make the same mistake yourself. What I'd failed to notice when I was building the panel is that when I took apart the window, I took off some of the glue that holds the frame and the pane together. This would reveal some of the metal that makes up that frame, and this meant that when the terminals touched that metal, they short-circuited the whole panel. I could wiggle them around to get an output, but as soon as they started touching the metal again, it would drop down to zero. This is really easy to solve, and really easy to preempt. All you have to do is take this green electrical tape and run it along the inside edge of the frame. This will stop it touching those terminals, and it will stop the whole panel short-circuiting right at the end, just like it did for me.